35 kilos. Yes. Ah, oh, you're so beautiful. Hi, and welcome to Dr. Mix. I am going to just play my brand new clavinet D6 by Hana. This is what I would normally do. I would just play it and not speak. I just want to study, I want to learn, and, uh, and I want to play. <laughs> I want to play my new clavinet. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You expect this. You see, you see, you see this beginning. You see this beginning. Dude, there is no way you can get this sound out of a sample. You can try. See how it reacts differently. So if I go... Or if I go... Or if I go... Or if I go... It works like this. This actually turns it off because this is an active circuit, so this turns it on. So far I found out that this sound I like is basically C and A. The good thing about this is that it doesn't have any noise, I think because it puts the pickups in counterface. So this is the cleanest. This is a bit noisier but I like this better. This is basically the mute. But it works a lot less here than it works here. So here's like super muted. Okay, we'll study that later. Let's keep on practicing. Brilliant. This doesn't seem to make any difference except What is that? What? Hmm. This brilliant thing, I don't think it's working. Let's try the treble. Hmm. Hmm. Why? Okay, I think it's... Interesting. I think I have to learn how to, to set it up. All right. It's cool because this is, you know, this, this is the closest that I can get as a keyboard player to a guitar. You know when you go like, like that? So if you go like ultra staccato, you, 
you can use it as a percussion. I wish I had a pedal for this. Okay, I'm learning, I'm learning, slowly, but I'm learning. So part of it is that when you release it, it gives you this, but not on all the keys, only on some of them. Okay, so when I play 16 notes, I cannot just play 16 notes like this, I have to play like... Because it makes a sound when it comes back, which I always knew to some degree, but I didn't expect this to be... I mean, the release sound is even louder than the hammer-on. I'm pushing down. Because it's like hammer-on, right? Hammer-on, hammer-off, hammer-off. Huh. Okay, interesting. All right, it's got that. Oh, there is a slight vibrato if I do that. Oh, not on all keyboards. Oh, all right. On some keys it does it. Not all of them. I wonder if, if there is a reason why some do it and some don't. 
Okay, interesting. So maybe part of the the reason why it wobbles a bit is because the instrument's wobbles. Okay. This doesn't wobble, but this does. Maybe I need to learn how to tune it as well. This sounds like, you know, this sounds like an harpsichord. I mean, if you play it like... Um, um, show you another game that I that I used to do. So back in my days as a session player in Italy, as an exercise, we would challenge each other to harmonic independence. This is the, this is the title that we gave it to it. Uh, Armonia Indipendente, Independent Harmony. So, okay, I'll give you an example, right? Right? The next would be... However... I will play it in a way that the beginning of the next phrase starts from the last note of the previous phrase. Let me explain. Let's change key now. Did you follow me? All right, okay, let, let me explain again, in case I wasn't clear. Yesterday... Uh, yes? good exercise actually because uh, you know your brain pretty much has to figure out the whole melody once more like la la cucaracha la cucaracha na 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 Anyway, if you like this trick, try it. 
It's very interesting. You can try even to harmonize it. Right? Anyway. Let's try and add some delay. I've got my tape delay hooked up, so all I need to do is um, send the clarinet to it. Thank you. 
to this super spacey mood. I don't care about mistakes. I'm just searching.
I thought I would have loved this instrument for its percussive capabilities because I wanted my own guitar. My other guitar is a clarinet. And it turns out I like it when it sounds like space. Sounds like Pink Floyd, doesn't it? Do you know what? Let me try and pull out some of my effect pedals. Let's see what we have here. Uh, oh yeah, I have a wah wah. Wah 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 wah. Wah. Vox. Will it work or will it not? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. All right. All right. Maybe I don't need the reverb right now. Or the echo. Guess what this song is? <laughs> Wow, this sounds awesome. But I have to put it down. Now this is a guitar. Am I distorting? I am a little bit. Maybe not. Let's try the echo. 
Let's try a different one. You know what this sounds like? You know those uh, electronic, uh, the electric violins when you, when you do like pizzicato. <laughs> you know you have a certain age when you play something and it always reminds you of something else that you heard before in your life. Try sound on sound. Do you know what I want to try? A different pedal. Let's try a different pedal. This is just a good old high impedance pedal that I use for my roads. Let's see if it sounds uh, any interesting. So it's just it's just volume. But you know. Maybe. With good intensity. I'm the world's luckiest man.
I love you. Dr. Mix.